Welcome to the final part of Mega Man 10. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico. And whoa, 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 jeez, whoa, <laughs> wow, okay, so we on the other side of the world here in the final Dr. Wally stage, I guess so, things seem to be upside down here in Topsy Turvy, what is this, Lil Nemo? Hey, maybe, it possibly is. Wow. Oh, Mega Man 2 Metal Man dr drills here. Jeez. Oh, I thought he was playing ice cream cones. I thought they were ice cream cones. <laughs> wow. Um, well, yep, everything's upside down here. Jeez. Except, what's this Gravity Man stage? Mega Man 5? Should Mega Man be on the ceiling? Oh, yeah. I was, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, shouldn't he be running up? Uh, nope. It's different. No, they don't, don't want to run the spikes. You can't do that. And Wow, so that's... <laughs> That's a nice little uh, swerve, I guess. You, the final part, of Dr. Wally. We knew there was going to be another Dr. Wally stage, but we know it's going to be. Uh, I wasn't <laughs> expecting this. Yeah, I mean, be on the other side of the world here. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Uh, this game falls to the walls. Let's do this. Yep. Upside down E barrel and M barrel. Is it a W or an M? Nah, All right, <laughs> Eminem. Now, uh, A and W. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, come on, come on! Don't tell me we're falling all the us and say we're falling all the way down. We just went all the way up there. Right. Yeah. All right. So, I assume this is the final Doctor Wally battle here. Uh, one, one of them is real. One of them is fake. Hmm, I wonder which one's real. Ouch. Kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me a bit of Mega Man Five Final Battle, where uh, or Mega Man Four or Five. I think one of both of them battles where he's he's invisible for a minute. You gotta find out where he's gonna pop up next. Oh yeah, this combat annoying to have to deal with, and then a little bit of guesswork. But then. Well, Mega Man Five B can help you. He could probably help you here also. Oh. But, yeah, that was close. Reminds me of the final battle in Sonic 2 with Dr. Robotnik. You, you can see the Earth <laughs> from the uh, the window. The window, whatever. The Earth in the background here. The space window. Pwned. Fatality. Well, where'd he go? He's the man that gravity forgot. And he's not Adrian Neville. So I guess Dr. Wally fell back on the Earth. Oh, whoa, there he is. Boom. I've got you now. For the tenth time. Tiger uppercut. Oh, wait, wait, wrong game. What the heck? Um You tell me. He can't what? He can't catch the robo in, so he's not a robot. Plot twist on the novella. He is a robot all along. No, I'm joking. Yeah, like in Mega Man 3, the first battle. Insert, uh, dun dun dun. Oh, I'm shaking. A few days later. Here we go, Skull Castle again. No, Skull Hospital. No. Hey. What? I'm down for Oh, what a, su oh. What a surprise. He escaped. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? No comment. Wait a minute. What? What did we just witness? Um, so Doctor Wadi escaped, I guess, through that window. The rumor and in your window has it that Doctor Wadi escaped and I guess left those virus He's pills, le le left those pills behind. So, what what happened? Did he have a change of heart and decided to leave all the pills to cure all the robots? And did he have a change of heart to heal everybody, or was that for his own personal gain down the road to where he, all the robots can be healed and he can reuse them again for his evil purposes one day? 
Nah, that sounds more like it. If you're asking me, that's what I would think. Yeah, that sounds Who weird. Weird. Because, uh, yeah, what the heck? Maybe somebody can explain that in the comment section, or of course we can just Google it, or read the storyline coming up from Mega Man 11. Um, but yeah, that's that's weird. That, that's a plot twist ending right there. Swerve! actually like that. I wasn't expecting that. It was. It gave us something completely uh, we weren't expecting. It was Monday Nitro Man and Solar Man as we see the Mega Man 10 Robo Masters here. Dun 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 dun. By the way, people were live from the ECW headquarters. Yeah, in ECW, Texas. As the old Windows uh, Windows uh, XP screensaver showing up here, or whatever it was. Wow, I don't even have a screensaver on my computer. And well, this this, like, wow. th this is one of the screensavers I used back in the day, the uh, Starfield screensaver. People now, kids nowadays won't know. Not right. Yeah. Insert Star Trek music right here. Yeah, or Star... No, not Star Wars. Never mind. The, the, screen, the credits have to be scrolling in a certain way. Well, we didn't get a special thanks. Come on. Oh, well, maybe not yet. That's at the very end. Special thanks to you. Easy W. I'm not reading these names, so I'd butcher every single one of them. Even yeah. the ones I know. Yeah. Tomoko Onishi. Ah, fail. There's some English names. Brandon Gay. No gay jokes. Brandon Gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Publicity. What? I guess what? Uh, to advertise it? What was that? Buy Mega Man. Just somebody outside walking around screaming, Buy Mega Yeah. Publicity stunt. Overseas Mega coordinator. Fight. Mega Man appears on WCW next week. Yeah. And there's a marketing, public relations team. Chris Kramer. Yeah. From Seinfeld? No. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fail. I don't know how to do it. Why you just put sound Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I think the only episode of Seinfeld I really enjoyed was when uh, George bought the Frogger machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so and. Still had his high score. Yeah, the truck ran over it. The, tr the truck could have stopped. Douchebag truck. He was like, oh, that's the guy with the high score. I'm taking out that Frogger machine. Yeah. It's Infunime, or whatever his name is. Where's a special thanks? Uh, uh, all right, so there's the end of Mega Man 10. Now you can also play as Proto Man, and uh, but of course we're not going to do that here. We are done with this LP. Um, yeah, so Mega Man 10. Uh, to me, it was easier than Mega Man 9. Uh, and, but I enjoyed Mega Man 9 better. Uh, Mega Man 10 here, uh, honestly. I mean, it, look, it looks pretty cool. Um, soundtrack is decent. Uh, for what it was, I mean, uh, I, to me, it's not things, nothing super special. I'll probably give it maybe a 7 or 7.5 out of 10 maybe. The ending, though, is 
uh, kind of confusing. Like, wait a minute, did he just decide to leave all the uh, uh, Robo Enza pills behind, whatever they're called, I forgot, behind, and not uh, I, I, not not hoard them. I, I, but like you, like we talked about, maybe he's uh, left those behind so that Mega Man or whoever can use those pills to heal the robots, but then Dr. Wise is going to come back and use those same robots one day against mm -hmm. mankind again. And I don't mean Mick Foley, but whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I give maybe 7, 7.5 out of 10. To me, Mega Man 9 just seemed better. What are your thoughts? Well, now looking through the game, seeing everything, the story kind of towards, well, the end or whatever, exactly the end or whatever, it threw me off. And I'm still scratching my head thinking, just, just why did he do that? But... It's something, you know, I probably will never find out, or maybe if I Google it. But as far as this game goes, I'm definitely going to give this one a go. So looking at everything throughout the whole LP from beginning to end, it looks pretty challenging. The music, it, to me, all right, here comes the hate. Sorry, sorry. But it wasn't as good as previous Mega Man's, but it was still good nonetheless. Um, I haven't played this game, so I will not give it a rating, but... Everybody knows this or whatever, but I'm going to add it onto the list of games that I'll play eventually. All right, so that is it, guys. We're out of here. Thank you for watching this LP of Mega Man 10. That pretty much does it for the uh, – this wasn't really planned from the beginning, but that does it for the, the whole series here on SC2K. We did Mega, Mega Man's 1 through 10 on the SC2K. Mega Man 1 was done by Wii Guy. 2 and 3 was done by me. 4 – was uh, hosted by Wii Guy, but the footage is actually recorded by Gentoo. Five and six were done by me. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten were done by me. Even though uh, seven, uh, uh, most uh, I think most of the LP of seven was done by somebody else. The foot, the recording, the footage, and all of eight, nine, and ten was done by others. Uh, by someone else as well and credits are given to those in the description box and uh yeah so that is it guys we're out of here thanks for watching all 10 of our L Mega Man lps including this one we're out of here i'm ron moore god bless take care adios